Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayanda Khatebe, for those that know. What? Why am I telling you if you know? <laughs> but my name is Ayanda Khatebe, for those that don't know. And if you basically want to know more about her, basically go and watch the first video that I uploaded on YouTube. So basically guys, Firstly, I would like to apologize for being away for such a long time. Okay, I haven't been well, I have been away for such a long time. Basically, I've been trying to get at things and trying to clang at things, guys. And I know you guys have been expecting this video for the longest time. And the video, like you guys have been asking, like, when are you dropping another video? You should drop another video. Well, I've been trying to clang at things, guys. As you can see, the lighting is like <laughs> I am back with another video. Basically, this is gonna be a makeup tutorial type of thing. Yeah, makeup tutorial. I'm basically gonna show you guys how I do my makeup. Well, this is like a full, 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 full. Yes, this is like a full makeup, full coverage, full makeup, whatever. Don't, don't. So basically, I'm gonna take you through the whole journey of how I did this look. This uh, gorgeous face. How, 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 how these hands worked to create this like magic. I know. I'm doing it. Oh, man let's get straight into it is it this side or that side whatever and if you haven't subscribed please do so is it here i always say yeah but then it's actually i don't know youtube you know. okay let's get things started number one you have to prep your face and the second step that you have to do you have to apply concealer in the above area and i like to use like a bright color because i've got very dark marks and they are not nice so i tried to cover them with the light concealer it's so it makes everything pop when i put the eyeshadows and everything so you usually do that with a brush ladies you do that with a brush uh you don't want to be using your hand i used my hand because my eyes were really sore i normally wear glasses so uh, i have those days sometimes so yeah just blend it out and make sure it is blended out perfectly and the next thing that you do you'd have to put um, your eyeshadows obviously using the application brush or whichever brush suits you you I basically work with what I have to create what I want that's my mojo ever since <laughs> I've started losing all my brushes and I've been using all the wrong brush mm, all the wrong brushes to do the right things you apply i used like a dark pink i used three shades so this is like a dark pink so i go in with a dark pink i blend it in perfectly the, i do this just to obviously when you're doing makeup that is like you first go in with a darker color depending on what colors you're going for so you go for the darker shade of that color and then blend it in perfectly and yeah next step what you do here i was going for the full cut crease so i tried doing the half cut crease and it wasn't working so i decided to do like the full cut crease and you normally apply concealer again and make sure it is neat because you don't want your makeup to look mercy messy not mercy <laughs>
The next step would be applying the lighter shade of pink because I'm using the colors pink. So I'm using a lighter shade. As you can see, I've done it on the other eye and I'm doing on like on this eye. So yeah, I was, I was quite unsure of what, what I should go for because I was trying to do the half crease thing. So I decided, you know what, let me just go for the full cut crease. Your next step after doing the foot cut crease, you'd go in with the first um, shade that you used as your base. So here I went in with that and I tried also using a maroon because I was looking for something darker by the ends to make the whole thing look cute. Next, I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This is color 013 from the Caramel. So I apply that. I try to apply as minimum as possible because I found out that with my previous um, video that I tried recording, uh, I applied too much. So that means like too much concealer, too much powder and too much everything. So I don't want anything hectic because I still want it to look... Mm, a bit natural even though it's not like a natural look because it's like a full makeup type of thing so you apply that using your application brush or in all the parts of your face obviously and you blend it perfectly so that you don't have like lines and whatever and with this color i feel like i should have used a brighter color but then i love how it like sits in my skin even though like i look darker as the time goes by but then i always go for darker foundations like a shade darker than my actual skin tone i don't know why but i just prefer that <laughs> Next, you are going to apply your concealer. Now, this is a mixture of things that you do not want to know. But if you have like proper concealer that suits your skin and you feel that is good for you, go for that, honey. And you are just apply that on your eye area, the under eye area. <laughs> and then uh, in all parts of your face, depending on how your face is shaped. And yeah. Again, I feel like I used way too much concealer here. So yeah, that was me struggling to blend the whole thing in. But then eventually I did. So make sure that you don't use as much as I did. So blend it perfectly and with your blender, obviously, not with your brush, with your blender.
as you can see this concealer is a bit too much so uh it made my face look white but i still tried to make it you know decent by blending it in with the brush again Next you're going to do the contouring, basically you just use a darker, from your contour palette use like the, the dark whatever that suits your skin tone obviously, you wouldn't go for something that is super dark but obviously you still want to contour and yeah, do the whole shebang and you contour according to your face structure, like you don't have to do it exactly how I do it so depending on your facial structure you contour according to that next time i'm gonna apply my blush now i feel like i did a little bit too much here again but because my face ended up looking red but i still tried to fix that <laughs> next i'm gonna go in with my translucent powder now this was um very good because it helped with the blush because i feel like i put in too much so it still brought out the facial structure that i wanted like how i wanted to look like and this powder helps a lot um in terms of like settling everything back in but even though i'm not a fan of powders because i've got very dry skin so i just prefer using liquids and yes after applying your mascara you must have prepared your brow no your lashes so basically put the glue and leave them for like five minutes a good five minutes and just let them be not watery so that it sticks like perfectly even though the other one just messed up my whole uh for like eyeshadow but then i still tried to like fix that i'm a very messy person not messy me no mercy no messy i under <laughs> so yeah and then next you are going to remove the baking the baking powder <laughs> remove the baking powder now i'm sure you guys can see how the whole face has changed from when i applied the blush because it made my face red but then after applying the translucent powder it just brought everything back your second to last step would be applying your highlighter before no like before applying your setting spray and that's it the products that i've used i have used for my eyeshadows i used this palette here from modern dolls oh my gosh it is amazing it is to die for so basically that's the palette that i use so i obviously used like the color pink with the all the other colors like i can't show you all the colors it's messed up it's messed up and this is the other one that i used oh my gosh it is so amazing guys like it is fire. 
tell you this is the second palette that i use for modern dolls also the things are just like oh i tell you okay for my foundation i think i showed you guys that i use the um, revlon color stay foundation i although i feel like it's darker than my actual skin tone so i don't know like people always say why do you always like use darker foundation than you than your actual skin tone because you're supposed to go for something that's lighter and i'm like but i just want to look ashy like i, I don't want to look ashy i just want to look natural but then in looking natural i don't want to look like that oh, you know but you know I, I just always go for something like i mean slightly light lighter than my shade because obviously it's like concealing but by the way this is like color this is caramel 013 Mm, I feel like a YouTuber now. <laughs> this is Caramel 013 and for the lipstick that I've used, basically guys with makeup, just go with what you have. Ma like work with what you have to create what you want. Like you, you don't have to go for, okay obviously with foundation, you, you seriously need to go for things that are proper. You can't just go for a machanini and get yourself like foundation or it will mess up your skin. So with this um, lipstick, I've used this one. It is from Signature. It is a matte lipstick. It is so great, guys. Like, I love it. 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 And what else did I use? Um, oh, also, this mascara, guys. It is popping. I'm sorry, it's a bit dirty because, like, it has foundation and whatnot. This mascara is from um, Avon. You, you just gotta know. With mascaras, go to Avon. Finish. Start from go out and go argue with your friends or whatever, but mascara just go to Avon, like they have bomb ass mascaras. And I also used this um, translucent powder from Signature. My skin, I have a very dry skin, guys, so I, I, I don't like all powder and whatnot, but then I don't want to look like so I always like I, I've gave it a try and wow. I've given it a try and I don't know how I feel about it honestly but I feel like it's doing the work but I don't want to look ashy like in public I wouldn't put it like if I were to go like out and full makeup beat and don't don't for some people it will work obviously because some people have oily skin and they don't, just don't want to get like oily during the day so I feel like the powder I don't know what the powder does by the way so <laughs> I just use it so what else do you guys want to know the lashes I got from oh my god the lashes I got from where did I get the lashes I got them from blaze yes I got them from blaze so just be street wise in terms of the shopping don't go for cheaper things that you know with lashes obviously it's something that you take off and it just doesn't stay for that long and like it's not directly in your skin I don't know if you get what I'm saying but you know just go for those things but they must be proper Thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!